Okay, so I'm starting this yummy soup off with some carrots. I decided to just throw together three carrots that I kind of had hanging around my fridge. So uh, these are multicolored carrots. Didn't want to go overboard with it as I didn't want it to make my soup too sweet. Now mind you, this is maybe the second or third time I've ever made a butternut squash soup. And I have to say it turned out really great. It wasn't overly sweet at all. So I'm gonna peel it, chop them up, and set them aside. Then I'm gonna add roughly chopped white onion and then also set that aside. I like to get all of my ingredients ready and prepared before I start actually cooking. So this takes about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And as you can see, I took more than a thumb of ginger because I really love the flavor of ginger and just how much it livened up my soup. So as you can see, I am just peeling it with a spoon and then I'm dicing it up as small as I can. It's kind of hard to cut ginger. You have to cut it at a certain angle going against the stringy, uh, the strings in the ginger, but did my best, diced it nice and small. And then of course I set that aside. And as a garnish to my soup, I just diced up some parsley. So tasty to add on top when you're ready to drink and it mixes really well with the flavor. So quickly dicing that up and setting it to the side as well. And now the hard part. So make sure you have a very sharp knife. Mine barely got the job done, as you can see. <laughs> but you don't want any mishaps with this, so please make sure you have a sharp knife. Um, cut it in half, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roast the squash. So I actually will have all of the proper directions and ingredients in the description box. But here you see me removing the seeds. You can save the seeds to roast and eat them. I simply just put salt in my squash. Um, just wanted to give it an added flavor. This is a recipe that I've recreated from my friend actually. So I will also link that original video in the description box but just kind of following along with all the same directions. I'm putting, I'm adding some more olive oil to my cut squash along with some salt and then simply adding it into the oven, letting it roast and collect really rich and delicious flavor. And I'm timing it to exactly 45 minutes. In the meantime, you can see everything is all prepped and ready to go. Got my carrots, parsley, onion. I'll also be using this organic coconut milk and my diced ginger. So now part two is I'm also just gonna lightly roast the carrots. So I added some olive oil, salt, and pepper to it. Nothing too special. And I'll also be roasting some pumpkin seeds. So using olive oil and a little bit of salt roasting it for just about five to ten minutes. And this is important. Please check on your squash to see how roasted it is. I know it's done when my knife can easily pierce through the skin. Now I'm starting to saute some of the ingredients I've cut. So putting olive oil in a pot, adding the onions, the ginger, mixing it around, giving it some time to at least get a little translucent. And then I'm adding carrots that were semi-roasted and my roasted squash. From there, I'm adding some chicken broth, which really gave it a lot of flavor as well. I don't know exactly what gave it what. I do know when I had this soup, I tasted the ginger throughout, so I loved that. Um, but every ingredient matters. And lastly, I'm adding in the coconut milk. 
You want to give it some time to mix in, get all the flavoring, and uh, simply leave it on a, a low simmer. At this point, I added just the last of the dried spices that I wanted to add. Mixed it in a little bit. Now, if you have uh, now if you have a hand blender or hand mixer, feel free to use it at this point. I just took it a step further and used my Vitamix to puree all of the ingredients. I must have done this for at least five to 10 minutes. And even still, not everything came out so pure. I think I eventually discovered a carrot chunk in my soup. Um, but you wanna take your time with it. Definitely check on it every couple of minutes to see if it's pureed to your liking. And once you're done, you can pour it into your bowl, add it to a, um, add it to Tupperware or a glass Tupperware to save for the, throughout the week, which is exactly what I did. Fun part is adding the garnishes however you please. So I added in my diced parsley and roasted pumpkin seeds along with some pepper. And it was so delicious. Like I cannot believe how good this came out S special shout out to eugene for this recipe it was so great this was such a warm and comforting meal for me especially during these really cool days and that's it hope you guys liked the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more bye